my name is Anna Dawson and I'm with DAC FP. And today I have the pleasure of talking to Sui Chung, the CEO of CS Benchmarks. And the first thing I want to ask you is what are the first steps that advisors should take as they work with their clients who want to get into digital assets? Well, I would say it all begins with education. Um, the digital asset space is uh, very different from the traditional asset space. So the, it all revolves around education. And I think key to the education is for both the advisors and the clients to understand the role that digital assets play in what we term at CF Benchmarks, the blockchain economy, and how the value chains in the blockchain economy are constructed to deliver the products and services to end users, such as DeFi, the metaverse, NFTs, uh, and value storage, how all of these um, products and services are, are delivered, and the tokens that are native to the software protocols that deliver these um, products and services to end users. How is the process of evaluating crypto products different from that of evaluating traditional asset products? The digital asset space is very different from the traditional asset space. First and foremost, it's because um, crypto assets, digital assets are traded uh, in a distributed manner. So they're not traded on a single venue. So unlike stocks, there is no New York Stock Exchange. And so this ecosystem means that various technical aspects of a product that are probably not too important uh, in traditional assets, such as pricing and nav striking. These are actually very important when it comes to digital asset products because advisors need to be sure that the valuation of their client's products is accurate and that pricing has integrity. So I would say that's one. And number two, uh, other aspects of financial products in crypto and digital assets that are different to traditional assets, you know, some of the boring plumbing parts, unfortunately. So custody being a very good example, digital assets are bearer instruments and so the custody of them and who custodies them and how they're custodied is very very important uh, and custody in a safe secure manner is vitally important to ensure that your clients assets uh, don't sprout legs and walk out of the door. 